we have no connection with farming before we started this um we three we are three engineer from india and one dairy farmer from new zealand who happened to be a is a business uh, man as well he founded fonterra before along with six other director so fortunately we found that and we wanted to solve problems uh, as an engineer you know that gives us most at most satisfaction and one of the challenge that we saw uh, that was unsolved in in indian uh, context was uh, tearing as nikki said um, it's a huge huge um, um, employment generator i mean about 70 million odd farmers families are dependent on it yet um, we 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 produce uh, 20% of world's milk yet if you see per cow production it's so low that there's a huge opportunity in it uh, hidden in it and we saw that opportunity and wanted to jump on it immediately now we know that that immediate means 10 years at least so the overnight success um, that we call it in daring it would take 10 years and actually that made us the challenge share the challenge and the magnanimity of it uh, to to influence lives of people um bringing in competencies from other countries uh, actually made made uh, the 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 challenge exciting for us uh, and we started with that so it's all excitement and opportunity upside as nick we learned our our subject on our way through um in first thing is to understand the environment that you are working on and uh, in interaction of your environment with the system and if i define if i have to define dairy system it, it is made up of three components you know feed feed and hygiene and all of these have different meaning uh, as environment changes um uh, but fortunately in our environment uh we have uh, chosen um to both of the dairy breed that we have we have hf and we have jerseys and and we are breeding them and the first thing that we have to uh, we have to fo- uh, enforce uh, force as a challenge was the inst- institutional ignorance which actually hit us uh, people said you can't cross jersey and hf and first few years we were figuring out whether to breed them or not to breed them we we were convinced within ourselves that hf jersey crosses um, a smaller cow would be the answer for for india and for long time we were seeking um, advices solutions but we found none and and, and, uh, and at the end our experience actually led us where we are today so uh, so breed is one of the one of the major major component of your success and to be able to understand that you need human resource you know a- across the board you need human resource that can perceive that can back themselves and that have self confidence to take those decision which you need uh, to take early on in your farming um, venture the next thing is feed and feed is not only nutrition um, but it is also um, also a component that goes in um, the animal health you know how best you can manage your feed possibly you can you can reduce your your medical bills or the production and the effort that you put. and we we carefully carve the feed around the kind of herd that we have and now these variables uh, these are some of the variable that we name uh, very frequently but to understand them in a situation or an environment you need you need lot of exposure experience or in a way lot of burning of money as we did initially so and metabolic disease uh, as a a bad feed can trigger you know a bad feed can trigger uh, lameness and we never knew this uh, in the cows you know uh, it can it can badly affect uh, the udder health uh, we never knew this and we had to learn all this through and in an indian environment because uh, earl being here was like blind leading blind we never knew anything about dairy and he never knew anything about india that how to proceed in an environment where where the major feed component or nutrition is coming from uh, from brown brown stuff which is concentrate and we really have to enforce um, a, a feed regime 
which is contrary to what what was being followed in our region and the third step stuff is hygiene and hygiene doesn't only mean that you take care of milk well but it's also mean that how you take care of your entire environment so that it doesn't impact the animal health and the first thing that it will impact is possibly the other health the followed by the followed by the production um followed by you know other 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 disease um and one of the disease that we fought very well i would say and we had to fight that disease ourselves was brucellosis and we had no idea because there's no there was no information at that point in time and three or five cows initially dropped the cows and we did not knew why they are dropping and then we had today binsa farm is possibly we we are happy to boast that we are one of the controlled farm in india and uh, i don't know other farms uh, but i know that certainly that other farms deplete a lot of their profitability to to disease and and one of the one of the aspect of hygiene was disease management which we took really seriously um hr is across the board you need to you need to you know bring them on the same page you need to back yourself because there is no institutional there is there is there is no institutional in institution that exist here so everybody learn by by seeing others and there is hardly any hardly any um, input that comes as an extension to the farming i do not blame blame academic institution for that because they have a different charter altogether and 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 they themselves do not know that who to influence if you go to an academic institution today and ask that who is your who is your customer so they will ne- never never knew that because they are so distrib- farming is such a distributed uh, business here see you need to understand the context that we are working in everything working here is despite of system Uh, okay there is no system around there is no ecosystem around dairy whatever big numbers that you may see from anybody throwing that we are biggest that happened despite of it and everything and most of it is subsistence farming you know it's it's people who are just doing farming because they do not have other alternatives uh, to do uh, uh, than that and this is a brutal reality i'm i will not be very very politically correct here because we ultimately we have to learn uh, and we have to provide a a, a unbiased view whenever we uh, think that we put a commercial setup to to compete with the subsistence that exists for thousands and thousands of years we really need to know that what is uh, where is the demand that uh, Uh, how we are going to justify it with the returns you know what if you if you suddenly start uh, if you put all these money uh, everything uh, in a commercial scale and you start competing with uh, with a with with a subsistence farming uh, system then possibly uh, sooner or later you will not be able to compete with that because they are not counting for the lifestyle they are not counting for the insurances they are not counting for 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 the several other thing that we we believe that you know a, a dignity um, a dignified life should have so it's very very difficult to how how to crack this this entire thing got to work on demand you know, simultaneously demand generation you can't just work on quality and that's what binsa farm also did you know soon we realize that we will not never be able to sustain our uh, strides or sustain our pioneering effort unless we have a market that can appreciate it. and fortunately we were near to delhi and we could able to send milk directly to consumers and like sada farm we have largest cons- cons- consumer base uh, in the farm fresh category so uh, yeah so i don't deny anything that um that nikki said those are the valid point toward the supply side of it but then you really got to work innovatively and enterprisingly that how you are going to 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 sustain for so long now it it's 8 9 years now and this year we'll be printing tax paid um profit uh so 
can you can you sustain for so long or are you sizing your business accordingly i'll be very upfront you know even though it is a public forum i'll be very upfront that please size your options and opportunity accordingly because uh, uh, we have done that mistake and we had to backfill uh, for our mistakes through capital so you got to know that what you are your what you are sizing this business for and what kind of return that you are and you what is the optimum output that you can expect um, from from your dairy or from your venture so all those things not only from the technical uh, technical aspect which is obviously lacking and as i said in the beginning everything is despite of system you know you have you got to build that system as well for yourself but also need to find um uh, home for your milk at the end of day so those are something you know some of the thing that i would like to say and this is a challenging challenging proposition and in, in the same country we have a same composition milk selling for 17 rupees and 34 rupees uh, and it's almost double you know there's a difference of double so i as i as i as nikki said um despite we have supply chain revolution uh, across india the price is not same so how can i answer that uh, or any farmer can answer that if if the difference of procurement um, of milk is double you know we are in punjab we are procuring it 36 in maharashtra at this moment possibly the same composition is being sold for 24 rupees or or less so it's very difficult for entire to 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 say that to, to release a statement for entire country but yes if and 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 with that you you realize that there is no say farmer has in it because if mm-hmm. farmer was governing the price if his opportunity cost was being taken care then entire country would have the same price uh, or same farm gate price for for the cooperative which is not happening so it's a, it's a just opportunity which is getting utilized and under that is a big big exploitation scheme i would say i may sound bit bit passive to you in it but that is the reality and we need to maximize profit for farmers or at least make it level playing field price price means nothing uh, I, i was doing another discussion and price means nothing if you tell me a, a one price point then i can adjust my my inputs and my parameters accordingly but that doesn't remain the same across india and therefore it is very difficult to to size one solution for entire india and that is the problem we do not have a predictable benchmark solution you can't export competency from north to south south to north west to east or east to north because because at the end of the day commodity get priced at different level and that is the big challenge i think the better question would be that are we are we selecting right animal for right area yeah. we we wanted to have see very late in the process we found found out that animal the breed selection or the animal size selection has a, has a very good uh, i mean the feed available in your area has a, a, is a function to what you select as an animal size because this the cow that works very well in 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 punjab or maybe in bangalore may not work at in haryana because we do not have the same platter of feed component in your cost reduction you know yeah. and because we were precisely building our herd from 50 cows we grew our herd to 400 cows we knew this in the process and we we deciphered this this in a long in this long journey obviously when you are putting a commercial farm uh, you do not have that much time and yeah. want to have a single source somewhere but this is one most if one of the most difficult question that should you buy a cow that is yielding certain liter with a certain weight yeah. profile or should you buy, buy, buy other cows which is yielding possibly less or more with a different weight profile the, the environment around you should be calibrated first farmers are the most innovative people in the world they 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 adjust to to whatever is given but i would say that if you have to uh, uh, boil down on single kpi it is it is the reproduction 
whether you are able to rip, uh, whether you are you are able to cycle your herd in 13 months if you are able to do that everything is taken care and you should be able to do it in 13 months because we are doing it in winsor park